Alright, so if you haven't already watched my video on um, gable roof rafters, the step off method, please go watch it. Now what I want to explain to you is how the framing square does the math for you when you're stepping off a roof, just in case you don't understand it. So years ago I bought this book and it has all the roof pitches, tells you the degree, you tell it how much run you need. Like if I had an eight foot building, you would take half of that and the 612 pitch would be 53 and 5 eighths. That would be my raptor length. But the framing square will get you the same number and I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna step off one foot of run on this two by four I have and I'm gonna show you how to do it with the square and how to do it with the book. So it will be 13 and 3 eighths for one foot. All right, I got my square on the board and we're going to do a 612 pitch just like we looked at in the book. So you're going to get the 6 on the outside right on the edge of your board and you want to get the 12 right on the edge. And your first mark is going to be right here. I'm going to cut the video for a second because I'm holding the camera in one hand. Okay, so I made my marks. I'm going to move the square in a second. Plum cut right here. I got it marked. And then for the end, you can mark it in two different spots. I like to do it this way. The 12's here, and then just go up on your square to the, to the mark that lines up with the 12 and put a mark here. Or you can mark at the bottom right here on the 12. But I'm going to use this mark here. All right, here was my plumb cut. I made my mark on the board right here. See how I got my square right up to it on 6 and 12. And now I'm going to mark this, and that's going to be 1 foot. And from this line to this line should be 13 and 3 eighths, just like the Book of Raptors that I have tells me. All right, so we set a 612 roof. One foot of run would be 13 and 3 eighths. Now I did this, the step off method with the framing square. So let's measure it and see if it matches up. Okay, so I'm holding the tape right on the end of my mark. Go down to the other step off. If you look, 13 and 3 eighths on the money. That's one step off. If that's all we was doing, if the roof, if the width of the building was two foot, we would do a one foot step off, and the bird's mouth would go right here. If you need reference, go back and watch my video on stepping off gable roof rafters, and I show how to do the bird's mouth. Okay, so if I just want to use this book and not do the step off method, and I need a one foot, it's 13 and 3 eighths. Come down here, I got my square on 6 and 12 because we're doing a 6-12 pitch roof. I make my first mark and I can remove my square and I'll put a tape measure at the end of this line right here at the end and measure 13 and 3 eighths over, mark it, and then put my square 6 and 12 and mark that line. Alright, so I got my 6-12 um, pitch marked. And I took a tape measure and I measured 13 and 3 eighths from this point to this point right here. And I put a line. And if you see, I got my square back on 6, 12. And it's right on that line. Then you just mark this angle right here. And you got the same thing I did with just the framing square for the step off method. So these books are really handy. And, um,. They can help you get some accurate measurements to get some cuts, but you do not need them. Many roofs were cut a long time ago before they had books like this or calculators, just using the step off method. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned how to step off a rafter opposed to using a book of rafter tables, which is going to give you the same number as a calculator. One thing to keep in mind if you're doing a long rafter, there'll be multiple step offs which is square and it's really important to make sure they're very accurate because 
a little you could be a sixteenth of an inch off at the beginning and a sixteenth on each step off and you could be way off at the end and your raptor wouldn't fit right a lot of people use stair gauges to put on a square it just makes it easier to line up for like the 612 pitch put one on six put one on 12 and then you can just slide the square and it'll stay accurate but all in all both methods work really good when i built my shed i used the step off method and if i would do a house or anything i may use the book on raptor tables but it really doesn't matter as long as you take your time it's going to fit perfect thanks for watching please subscribe Got any questions or comments, put them in the comment section down below.